football and technology in football by me. Um, introduction. Most of the professional games are now televised. For example, uh, there are at least 10 televised games over the course of the week. So you've got your Sky Sports Super Sunday, two games, a game, two games on a Saturday, one from the Championship, one from the Premier League. Then you've got midweek games of your Champions Leagues. Um, all fans and survey media companies are waiting to find out whether the best players get up to on and off the field. Most fans take to social media such as Twitter where you can follow the football of your choice and what they post on a regular basis, e.g. way of reading. Uh, different types of media, there's television, you've got Sky Sports 1, 2, 3 and 4, BT Sports, ITV Sport. For social media you've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, newspapers you've got The Sword, Daily Mail and The Guardian. Uh, pros and cons are you get to see your role model and what they and what they do so you can replicate the good things they do and be inspired by them. Um, you also save money by paying for the television, like these guys what programs that cost about 14 or 15 pounds a month. But you've got, um, instead of going all the way over to, let's say if you support Arsenal, you've got to travel all the way down to London and you've got to pay like a thousand pounds for a season ticket, which is just pointless. Um, obviously, some sports television programs about football can be educational. For example, Sky Sports News gives you all up to date news on the world of football. Jim White, who is a he is a reporter and obviously does some segments. Uh, with all the television viewers and media coverage, the players will get sponsorships due to big companies such as Nike wanting their best to represent their brand, e.g. Cristiano Ronaldo, who Nike sponsor him, and he makes them a lot, a lot of money every year. The cons are that is the stadium attendance could decrease because of watching your team at the ground could be more expensive than watching them on TV, such as Arsenal FC, and the season ticket price of £1,000. Social media could impact on the players' performance if receives abuse. The players' confidence could be damaged if a mass of fans give a player abuse consistently, e.g. Tom Cleverley, he, he was abused on more than one occasion. Um, Journalists in newspaper columns can write a false story such as a player having fallen out with the manager and then it causes friction between the manager and the player so the, the player will be, end up getting left out of the squad and obviously it's just been blown out of proportion. Uh, moving on to the technology. Um, over the past couple of years, technology has been accelerated to new balls that are so light they're impossible from swerving from boots that have a sock attached to them. Over the past year, FIFA have introduced GDS, Goal Line uh, Decision System. FIFA have also introduced Vanishing Spray, which helps the ref to see if a player has gained a few yards and attempts to take free kick, or to see if the player stays 10 yards away from the ball. <coughs> now, other than Spray and Goal Line, there is plenty more, such as special cameras that follow the player's performance called ProGo. Players can also watch their performance back and see where to improve. There are new developments on how to treat injuries. For example, over 20 years ago, a broken ankle would have been would have ended a player's career. But nowadays, the player would have been recovered after eight months. And so the pitch on the right hand corner is Aaron Ramsey. He broke his leg. He was he was back after eight months and is now playing again. Um, officials can now communicate via earpiece microphones, which helps quick communication via the officials. So they have to see a hit and miss decision. So they can talk about it while the game continues to play. And obviously that's some type of equipment that we use. Uh, more technology, Nike have introduced a special dry fit kits, which are tight so a player keeps dry from the sweat. Obviously you can see it's under the armpit region where the player will most likely to generate sweat. Goal line technology helps the ref the decision on whether the ball has crossed the line or not. For example, Frank Lampard got disallowed goal four years ago in the World Cup in a crucial stage of the match. Obviously it went clearly over the line Ref didn't see there was no technology at that time, so the goal was not given on going, on going out of the World Cup. The four officials can now have electronic boards to signal the players who were being subbed off or how many minutes at the end of 90 minutes season. Um, a FIFA fourth official on the board, got two minutes left, and that's it. We've done good stuff. Yeah. Um, right, you mentioned about uh, some of the technology. So in football, do you think it's a positive or a negative effect? Um, it's a bit of both. Obviously, the positive game uh, game is it like if there's a decision like the um, goal line decision system, like what happened to Frank Lampard, and it's a good thing because then obviously we'll, you wouldn't have been like wrongly cheated out of the game. But it's also like a bad thing because it will it sometimes could slow down the play. 
of a game, I, the referee keeps looking at his buzzer thing to, to see if it's waiting for that to come through. So it could take a lot of time. Okay. Do you think all the technology is available to everyone? It, it should be. It should be in all games. But obviously, recently, the, the goal line technology is only at your top clubs, like your Premier League clubs and your, your national stadium. Well done. Uh, your media, okay. Um, do you think they have a, a positive or a negative influence, Again, in your opinion? These are a bit of both, in my opinion, obviously. It's good that players can interact with the fans. Like, mm -hmm. Obviously, if you, you, you like a player that you look up to, you can like, speak to him. If he notices you, then it's all good. But obviously, it kind of can be a bad thing. Like, obviously, what happened to Tom Cleverley, he was forced to delete his Twitter account because of abuse on a regular basis. Brilliant. Right, presentation wise, I like the I like the Prezi, I like the way it's dealing the cards out, it's really good. It'd have been good if there was a few more, Yeah. but I don't know whether that, that, was, that slide would let you do got. it. Yeah. yeah, that's all you've got. Man. But I like the fact that you've got them in cards, you've got pictures, you've got a little bit of information, so it's come across really well. I thought you presented okay. Um, what about yourself, uh, a positive from that? And a development point. Uh, development, probably try and get a president that's got more um, slides so you can get more information in. Hold well on.